Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm here today to present you a very special unit and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about our 2016 PX Mark II Ranger Wild Track with full Tickford enhanced upgrades. This car presents in amazing condition, a credit to the previous owner and has substantially low kilometres for the year of the car. So we'll start at the front and we'll go around, try not to miss anything of the upgrades that this car has, starting with the genuine Tickford upgraded embossed grille. As you can see, stands out miles above the standard wild track grille. Does have colour coded sensors all the way around the front, making parking a breeze. Around the headlights, you've got the Raptor style uh, black coverings around the outside, which contrasts really nicely to the white paint. Speaking of the paint, it is in excellent condition with maybe one or two very minor stone chips across the front. They've already been attended to and is in amazing condition. Moving around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the Tickford enhanced wheel arch flares. Now these are to house the wider wheel and tyre package the car has been given as well, but the attention to detail on these little Tickford icons all facing the centre of that alloy wheel, by far the best wheel arch components you can put on a car for housing these bigger wheels and tyres. You've got the Tickford embossed hubcap in the centre there, has got the black and polished alloy style wheels which are renowned on this model and also Goodyear Wrangler tyres which as you can see huge amount of tread left in these, plenty of grip on the car, uh, excellent condition and no marks around the wheels there at all. A big standout of this wild track is these side steps. Tickford embossed again in the steel there. Unfortunately, a bit of an overcast day, but when the sun hits these side steps, that Tickford word actually goes down as a shadow straight across the ground there as well. Um, and being tubular steel, super strong as well for genuine four wheel driving. As we move past the side, I'm just going to open the door because this one, unlike some others, has actually been upgraded with the full leather custom interior as well. So as you can see, they've gone the really dark grey with the light trim just to contrast it a bit. Factory orange wild track stitching up through the middle and you'll see up the top here, it's actually embossed at the top there with Tickford as well. You see the electric driver's seat over this side and you'll note the quality of the carpet on the driver's floor almost presenting as new. The car does have a set of genuine rubber Ranger floor mats that will come with the vehicle as well. Moving down this side, really no damage of any kind to report. Does have the crossover roof rail there, so uh, sorry, the roof rail there. So if you do want crossover roof bars, you can hook them onto the side here if you're looking to carry anything additional up on the roof there. Again, being the wild track, you've got the extra styling rear spoiler type set up over here and you've got the roller hard lid. These are really cool because un unlike your conventional hard cover or your hard lid, they just pivot from there and they lift up. You can't put anything taller than the hard lid in there or it won't shut. With the roller ones, they roll back into the box over here and then you've got an open tub which is really good to uh, put anything tall inside of. Again, back alloy wheel here, completely unmarked. Great tyre there again, cars only run just over 26,000 k's. Flare, excellent condition. Tickford upgrade also gets you the F-150 style rear exhaust, rather than the standard one out the back. You also get the Raptor style rear tail light covers and the Tickford badging. This is a really nice metallic finish badging, contrasts really well against that white paintwork. Does have the factory reverse camera here, which we'll show you once we're inside the vehicle. And it does have a square hitch tow bar already fitted to the car as well. Drop the tailgate down. They've actually gone as far as putting the additional tailgate strut on here. These are awesome and I don't think done often enough. What that actually does, as you can see, it makes it a little bit lighter when you're lifting, but the key thing is when you open it and you let it go, it falls down nice and softly rather than the whole weight of the tailgate coming down. That's an additional feature which has been added. Tub liner already fitted in there and again with these roller hard lids you've got the cord here. Uh, you simply just pull it to the right to unlock it and then push it forward and it will slide all the way into the back there. And then this is just on a little carabiner making it easy to slide back rather than not being able to reach it and slide it back in. Rear step, all in excellent condition, no damage evident on there at all, probably part and parcel of having your colour coded reverse sensors at the back as well. Does make parking this big Ranger quite easy as well. Passenger side, much the same as exactly what we've seen on the driver's side guys, this car is amazing condition all the way around. 
alloy wheel, if I'm being super critical, one tiny little mark right down the bottom here, but you're talking maybe a one inch mark just touch the outside edge. Other than that, really not, nothing else to report down this side. Does have the metallic gray uh, finish handles, again contrasting quite nicely to the white paintwork. Side steps all in excellent condition with no damage or scratches evident on those. And the other left hand wheel, which is the curb side of course, but has no damage on there at all. So has to be said, this is a credit to the previous owner with how well they've kept this car. Okay, so under the bonnet is where we really get to see the Tickford enhancements come into play. So this has had the full power upgrade pack done to it as well. Now that takes the engine from a standard 147 kilowatts up to 169 kilowatts and also boosts your newton meters of torque, great for your towing and off the line speed, 470 newton meters up to 564. Now this is done through the larger intercool and hard pipe kit that the car has the performance diesel tune carried out by Tickford, which also at the time carries your driveline warranty through Ford as well. So they back the product because it's a Ford enhancement product. It's also got the three inch Tickford stainless steel cat back exhaust. And as I mentioned, the dual side outlet exhaust tips there as well. So the key thing here is it's not just aesthetics. It's not just the look of this vehicle that makes it stand out. It's the sound of it on the road. It's the power that it gives you. And it's that upgrade feel that you know you have have a completely different Ranger to the standard ones you'll see on the road. So sitting inside the Tickford Ranger, we're gonna go through the internal features and uh, have a look at everything it has to offer. So we'll start off on the driver's door panel. You've got leather embossed door cards with that wild track orange stitching, full electrics to all four windows, and the child lock on the back to stop the kids in the back from playing with them. Got our central locking, uh, unlock and lock and then across to the steering wheel. It is a leather bound steering wheel. Again, orange stitching all the way around. Does have the different material up the top, making it nice and comfortable to hold onto. All your buttons are right there in front of you on the dash. So you've got your cruise control, which is adaptive cruise control. So it will set the distance between you and the car in front. It's also got a speed limiter as well. So you can set it to say 60 kilometers and the car won't allow you to drive over 60 k's an hour. These buttons over here are for the menu up the top. I've currently got it set just on the speedometer. So it's got the electric speedo rather than just having the pinwheel one in the middle. Um, a number of different options you can go through there in terms of trip meter, fuel consumption, and those sorts of stats. And the left hand side is all to do with what it displays on the left side of the screen there being your phone navigation or the stereo entertainment unit. This side's to do with the stereo, skipping songs and also the Bluetooth picking up calls or hanging up and then volume and your voice activation controls there. Being the wild track, it does have the tech pack, which does give you the lane assistance warning as well. So if you're driving down the freeway and you've got this turned on, if you do gently swerve across to the line, it will actually take control and push you back into the middle of the lane. Uh, really good safety feature in case you get a bit tired while driving on the road. Indicators, high beam, low beam, also there on that right hand stalk there as well. Obviously auto headlights on and off, you've got the dial down here. Um, illumination controls for how bright you want the dash set up there to be as well. Moving across the dash, you will note it's leather bound across the top as well, which is a really nice soft feel to it as well, and has that wild track stitching across there, and got the carbon fibre trims around the sink unit. This sink unit's probably one of my favourite touchscreen units in uh, most manufacturers because of how simple and easy it is to use. You can jump in and pretty much anyone's going to be able to use it. So currently sitting on the audio panel over here, you've got your sources at the top, AM, FM, CD, iPhone, I've got my phone connected to it as well. Um, and then it displays it on the screen there. Second one across is your climate. So this is available in the touch screen or you've got your climate control settings all down here, which is really simple to use. But again, nice and simple, fan speed in the middle, direction of air to the middle, dual zone climate control. So you can set one side up to a different temperature if you want, um, and then also change it from twin uh, climate control and just lock it out to whatever the driver's got their side on. In your phone, again, some of the most simple touchscreen uh, options available, recent call list, who you want to dial out to, you've got your phone keypad or your contacts, and you've also got Siri option there as well, so you can ask Siri to make the call for you as well. Navigation, again, super simple, really easy to use. Um, Nice and uh, nice and detailed too, and uh, up to date maps as well. Moving across here into settings, um, again, 
Sync is probably that best screen uh, I've been able to use across all these brands. Go into your settings, nothing's hard to find. You've got your mobile applications, um, so for your smartphone when it's plugged in via USB, you've got your clock, um, nice and easy to find. Had to change it from daylight savings time this morning to uh, normal time again, so did that. Uh, you've got your phone settings and sound settings as well, so really simple and easy to find. Down through the middle here, got your hazard lights, CD slot, audio controls, volume on the left, tuning on the right for your radio, and then again your climate control is in the centre here. Got heated front seats, got three different uh, options there for that. And then down through here, we'll just get the gear stick out of the way. Got twin 12 volt power outlet, so you can charge anything that you need there. And also the twin USB down there with a large storage compartment. Something Ford's done really well is creating a really deep well at the front there. Got your parking sonar at the back, so you can turn the rear sensors off if you are towing something. And you've got your downhill descent control, rear diff lock, and also your ESP stability control. It is electronically controlled four-wheel drive system, so nice and easy. Again, you've got your two high, your four high, which is great for your gravel or your snow driving. And then if you're into serious uh, off-roading, then your four low is obviously going to be the way to go. Sports mode transmission, again, nice and simple to use. Flick it across to the right, changing down gears with that, changing up gears like that, or across into drive, which is pretty straightforward. Moving into reverse, just to show you the reverse camera. Just excuse me while I get rid of this call. Uh, moving into the reverse camera, you will see nice and clear, you've got your middle line there, so you can see exactly where you're gonna be lining up to, and the tow ball there is clearly visible, making it really easy to hook up your trailer or van or anything you might be uh, towing there. Moving into the center, you've got two large cup holders, great for all your drink needs. Uh, leather bound center console lid, again embossed with your orange stitching. Down in here, Ford do a great job of having the uh, top cover here as well, so you can store you know, your wallet, keys, cards, anything you might need there, and some change up the top. But then you can lift this out, and under here you've got a really deep center console, and that's also a cool box, so if you've got some cans or something you need to keep cold, chuck them in there, put the AC on, and they'll stay nice and cool. As I mentioned before, the car does have that custom leather interior, which is really, really uh, well set out. Uh, a lot of detail to it and embossed with that Tickford. Um, you've got the carbon fiber across the dash there. Carpets again in excellent condition. This car's just set out really nicely. The other thing the Wild Track gets is the dark colored hood lining. Uh, a nice feature in comparison to the lighter yellow style that a lot of the Utes out there get. And you do have the sunglasses holder up the top here as well. So the other thing to note about this one, guys, it does have its owner's manual, the reference guide, and the service book. Also comes with your two factory remote flip keys and the keys there for the hard lid as well, which is great because sometimes we have found these do get misplaced when they're traded in. Into the service history here, uh, you will note very good books, um, originally from the Rex Garrel Geelong area. Uh, November 17, first service, 11,000 Ks. Next service done in October of 18 at 22,000 Ks, again at the Ford dealership. And then when we've acquired the vehicle, we've also done an intermediate service at Berwick Mitsubishi at 25,500 Ks. So excellent service history, very, very good condition all the way through and a credit to the previous owner how they've kept this car. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our walk around video of our 2016 Ford Ranger Tickford Enhanced model. As you can see, credit to the previous owner, excellent condition inside and out with great service history and thousands and thousands of dollars in upgrades. If you'd like some more information, don't hesitate to call us on 9907055. If you haven't driven a Ranger with the Tickford upgraded engine enhancements, I suggest you call us and book a drive because it does make a massive difference to the drivability of them. The other thing to talk about now, guys, is this car does qualify for our mechanical protection plan. This will give you five years additional mechanical cover. There is a fee involved, but at the end of the day, it gives you five years mechanical cover, unlimited claims up to $3,000 per claim, and up to 10 years of roadside assistance, all the way up to 200,000 Ks on the odometer. Only a small difference in a finance payment if you are looking to borrow money against the vehicle. Please don't hesitate to call us for more information on both those items. 9907 555. Thanks for watching.